Hi guys, this is Kid Flash here, and welcome you to part 5 of Let's Play Mega Man and Base of our race, of course. And today we're going to be taking on um, the second stage of King's Castle. This is by far perhaps the longest of all of all of them, and kind of the most annoying because, like, for one thing, I am just like ashamed of myself for Mega Man's performance because, like, he did really bad in this episode. I tried to do it again, but the thing about it is, if I really wanted to record him and do it better. It means I would have to, like, do it over and over and over again, because, um, it's a really long stage, and I have to do, like, a flawless run. And, this is just, like, a dick thing I discovered by myself, that if you quit, like, in the middle of one of these castle stages, like, castle 2 or 3, you're gonna have to do castle 1 over again, like, stage 1 over again, just to get to stage 2. Or you're gonna have to do stage 1 and 2 over again, just to get to stage 3. Or maybe not, maybe not stage 3, but I know it's stage 2 for a fact. So anyways, this kind of, this level is like, comprised of three smaller parts, I guess, which is, which I really don't understand. You think if like, they break, they break this super long level into three parts, they might as well, just like, you know, have it as like, four different levels, because Wily Castles are usually typically four levels or five or longer, according to Clement J642, of course, which... I will take his word because you know he's all knowing in the realms of Mega Man. Anyways, there's a there's lots and lots and lots of mini bosses in this level too. The first mini boss is this little thing right here. This is not little, but tank. Um, the tank here is comprised of three different parts. You know they're taking out this this sex the stage is in three small parts with like three small mini bosses and now there's like three small like parts in this tank. It's just dividing and dividing. But basically, there's this eye, which you want to take out with copy vision, like when it opens it. There's this um, its head, which you want to take out with um, thunderbolt when it opens it, and its back, which you want to take out with magic card when it opens that. The one thing I hate about this boss is that you have to wait for it to open its um, its certain compartment before you can actually like hurt it. And honestly, I hate bosses that do that. Like bosses that like you can't hurt them until you um, you know, you like you what's it called? you've met their demands, I guess you could say, or just wait for them to open. Those boss fights draw out forever, and so do these ones, because, like, sometimes you want to take out the head first, so, like, so you try to, like, wait for it to shoot bombs, but uh, instead it's, like, opening its eye and doing a bunch of other things you don't want happening. And I just... Well, what? What just happened? Oh, well, no matter. <laughs> don't really know. Oh, that actually makes sense, I just realized. Anyways, um, something you can exploit... I, don't, I never knew this was even, like, a good, like, strategy until, like, while I was recording these, but critical attack is, like, by far one of the best things you could buy, like, equipable powers ever, because, like, the less health you have, the more damage you do. It can just dominate bosses, like you can see with base. They're, bam, he's dead. Of course, it's dangerous, but this boss fight, like, and if you didn't see, its eyes was blinking, so, like, yeah. But, like, with this boss fight, like, the only thing that's really gonna hurt, hurt you is the eye. Like, once you've done that with the eye, that's, like, the only thing that, like, the bombs are really easy to dodge, and as long as you're in the, like, lower part of this level, then the clowns can't really get you. So, once you get the eye, you can abuse critical attack to, like, to all. One thing, uh, another reason base Mega Man did a lot worse is because <coughs> I do Mega Man before I do base, which means that, um, that I learn... I, like, I have experience going into, like, bases part, like, oh, you know what, I can do this and break the boss fight. Whereas in Mega Man's side, you know, I'm learning and then dying as a result of it. But anyways, yeah, again, critical attack. Again, since this stage is kind of like three small stages, I'm gonna treat it as such, which means I'll start a which means I'll start a counter whenever he beats, like, one of the mini-bosses. Mainly because if he didn't do that, then, like, like, what they would be doing would be so far apart, like, well base would be like doing a completely different boss while Mega Man was doing a completely different boss. It'd just be weird. Anyways, <laughs> because I have so low health, I'm fearing this rabbit thing. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Anyways, now we're in the second part. Not much to say about it besides, um, you know, we're almost done. That's kind of cool to say. Um, yeah, I mean, like, what else do we have to do? Just this stage and the next stage, and of course the CD hunts, which I will be doing the CD hunts. I haven't been doing much. I'm almost done with this. I kind of feel bad for not uploading Kirby because I said I'd be uploading Kirby like a few videos ago, but then I was like, you know, there's one up there if you want to get it, but I didn't. But like, you know, I kind of want to get this out of the way first, maybe. I don't know. Maybe maybe I will upload some Kirby if I have the time. That would be cool because <laughs> I really want to get it because I really want to get back into something 
a whole upload schedule that doesn't like eat up time like this video like this part does and it's partly my own fault because like you know this lazy but you know it's to an extent and anyways um what i'm doing is base side as you can see is i'm purposely killing myself because the neck um well i'll just get into it you want to have really low health so the critical attack does a lot of damage um i didn't again see i didn't know that's a good idea on mega man's side so i kind of screwed myself there but anyways um Here's the next stage of the boss. It's very similar to the dragon from Mega Man 2, like in that you're like auto scrolling with platforms. But here's the thing. Um, now it's us another tank looking thing. For Mega Man's plat, Mega Man's platforms are a lot closer to each other. Just like obviously because Mega Man can jump there, like as stated right there. So anyways, I'm doing this again, but this time I'm with critical attack because it's better. Anyways, so here's the boss fight. His like. The reason that a, re a reason a, um, critical attack is a good idea for this boss fight is because um, you really don't die from ch like the like the main re the main reason you die in this boss fight isn't because that like he chipped away at your health so much that you like lost your health. It's probably going to be because you um you just you know fell off fell off the platforms and died that way like through bottomless pit. So yeah, that's why critical attack would be good to have because like you know it doesn't matter of course the fist if the fist touch you once with critical attack you will die so that's kind of nerve-wracking um this is actually a much much easier boss with um base because of car is that a car no it's much easier boss fight with base because um you can just continuously shoot and just worry about your platforming whereas Mega Man you actually have to aim because like you know you can only hit the cockpit and base you can just like you know keep on shooting and one of them is bound to hit a cockpit the cockpit, I mean to say. Whereas Mega Man, no, you have to aim your one large shot. But anyways, they both win. Again, Mega Man base winning, but again, what really, what else is new? So anyways, as soon as he gets done, oh, and I'm just taking a while to explode. If you didn't see that um, when the tank died, there was a still blinking eye. I don't know why I like, made such a big deal out about it. About, blah, 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 blah. Made such a big deal about that. And now Mega Man, like, in the beginning of this video, Mega Man was like, five minutes like behind and he just got killed by ice cube what are the odds well ice cube is a very violent rapper i assume so you know and that's not that unlikely <laughs> but like in the beginning of the video he was five minutes behind and now he's ten so that's kind of just ridiculous that's just ridiculous as my friend mason would say um but yeah it really is <laughs> i'm kind of it's probably my fault too because i was just playing bad Anyways, there's this last section. It really isn't that long, I think. I don't actually know. No, no, no. What am I saying? It's moderately decent. Okay, so as you, um these blocks, like you might not know, can be breaking with broken with um that one spread drill. And I don't know why Mega Man's just lagging behind. Oh yes, you know why? Because he can jump on that thing, and then like all these like little rovers. I don't even know what they're called, but those things that home in on you, like give you no breathing room, and you just get claustrophobic. Because that jump isn't just high, is like is too low for Mega Man and King them bases at the boss. But let's ignore this and let's watch this pinnacle of dick platform design. That 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 jump is not makeable with Mega Man because there's a little thing that will cap him at the ceiling. So you have to use an ice wall, slide off, and then jump off. And that's a lot harder than I made it look. You can actually spend a lot of time on that. So anyways, um, before you go into the fight, you want to make sure that your Thunderbolt is full and that you use um the energy conserver this is actually the first part of the, the now we're fighting king i don't know why like it's not <laughs> that big of a deal surprisingly but um seeing how it's supposedly the, the enemy but this is that the first part of this boss fight is actually fairly simple like scripted really you can't hurt him because you can't hurt him until like until this happens which that's a spoiler because i'm kind of commentating on Mega Man's side primarily you just want to dodge his exit until until like you know Proto Man comes in and does his thing. I'll talk about Proto Man more when he does it on Mega Man's side because I just skipped Base's side completely. And but that's gonna take a while. Yeah. So yeah. So something just happened. Explosions. Explosions. So let's actually <laughs> let's have Mega Man finish this so I can read it. So Base co uh, Proto Man comes in. I can I can handle this myself. Yeah. Oh, you go, girl. Didn't didn't quite work, did it? So, like, you know, <laughs> that foolproof plan of shooting him didn't work, so I'll just resort to extremes and kill myself. Like Axel, or Vegeta, or a lot of people who actually do that. How do you put all your energy in one attack? I don't know. Well, 
I can't really shoot beams of energy, so I don't know. Maybe you could easily kill yourself by doing that. But anyways, after you beat him, after you've um, after that whole cutscene happens, he's actually gonna start the boss fight. I remember the first time I got here, since it took me forever to get here, I was so pissed that like there's another boss. I was so pissed. Anyways, with um Thunderbolt and Weapon Conserve, you wanna like just hit, keep on spamming um Thunderbolt. The thing about Thunderbolt, it will it, it will put him in a pattern lock like a lot of Mega Man bosses. So he'll just keep on doing this, and with your invincibility frames, he'll pass right through you, so you really don't have to worry. But anyways, King's defeated. So, you won. Why do you fight so hard for the pitiful humans? Robots are superior to humans. And I like what Base says much more than what Mega Man says. He says, like, but it was humans who created us. Whereas Mega Man, he's just like... Superiority is, superiority is not the point. Like, really? Who, who cares? Like, come on, like... I don't, I, I don't like... That's like, that's like something you'd say when you have nothing else to say. Because, like, you don't have a good comeback and you're just like, Shut up like that. Ooh, but oh, Dr. Wily is, like, you know, the the bad guy here. Who, who saw that coming? Like, really? Yeah, I mean, like, I guess if you haven't played any of the Mega Man games like I did, not really, but, you know. Honestly, like, if you played all, like, eight Mega Man games before this, this would probably be, like, very evident, like, before this even, this even happened, that, like, Wily secret behind, secretly behind this. But anyways, here's a boss fight. And, um, this boss fight with base can be incredibly hard if you don't know one simple trick about this and that like that will kind of determine the difference between who like if this is even possible with base because okay like the thing about like the thing that his his probably his most deadly attack is that he shoots bombs at you with Mega Man you can just hide under this platform like to like and like you know hide under the bombs which you actually need the platform to hit him, that's why it's there for Mega Man and not base. But for base, you don't have any platform to protect you from the bombs. So the bombs do do a lot of damage, and the thing about bombs is they're pretty hard to dodge, unless you know its pattern, because the pattern is actually pretty weird. The thing about the pattern is, also, because, because of my emulator, I can't see those balls of energy, the bomb pattern is weird if you don't know it. Basically, it will be, they'll shoot a bomb, and it'll hit where you are, It'll shoot a second bomb. It will try to juke you out by like, sh like by hitting where you're gonna go. And then it's gonna shoot another one where you are, and then it's gonna shoot another one about where you're gonna go. So you just want to like run away, juke it out, run away, juke it out, and that's how you like dodge the bombs with base. And that that would be like otherwise like completely like this would be such a cheap fight if like if you don't know that tactic actually. Well, it kind of just makes it much simpler. Also, to even hit him as base, you have to, um, you have to dash, you have to do the dash, double jump, dash, double jump, then hit him with, then hit the cockpit. See, so watch, you have to run away, juke him out, run away, then juke it, he, like, juke it out. So anyways, yeah, like, I can see, like, if you don't know how to dash, which, as a kid, I never knew, like, double tapping was just, like, something I could not do for any game, but I guess, like, you know. If you don't know how to dash and you're this far in the game, I don't know. I honestly don't know how you're this far into the game. But you have to know how to dash to, like, even hurt him at all. I'm sure you could use, like, remote mine or something, but probably not. Oh, yeah, something I forgot to mention. That if you press L and R at the same time, like, any power you have will just, um, will just, like, you'll revert back to your normal state. So, anyways, I kind of like this, like, whole, like, dialogue here. It's like, so you gotta get out of here. It's like... Uh, no, you evacuate. It's like a young couple. It's like, no, you evacuate first. No, you evacuate first. Okay. Oh, you evacuated. So, you know, I kind of just butchered that joke. But anyways, this has been Skid Flash. Hope you've enjoyed watching. Bye.